Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you for opening up your hearts and your minds to the knowledge and the words, the wisdom from the spirit guys. You know, just open up your hearts, learning things that you have never thought you would be able to know is just a true blessing when you get to know your true self. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback or if you're getting to know me as much as I'm getting to know you. Or even if it's about, you know, your empathic gift and how it impacts your life. Or if you feel like the video is being very informative to you and you might want to go ahead and send it to your, you know, a family member or a friend, go ahead and do so. And like it, even share it on whatever social media you see fit. And thank you for stopping by my channel. I hope you're able to resonate with the video of my content. The content of my video. I'm being backwards today, y'all. And the music that I'm listening to today is Aura Cleansing, a boost of positive energy meditation music for healing and I will post that link in the description box below and the video I'm doing today is twin flame 101 a hundred the hundred and forty four thousand are being activated are you one of them yes I was reading up on that this morning y'all forgive me because I mean that's a lot of stuff to remember because this is just getting crazy I mean I had to go sip me some tea this morning after I read that because it was just like me walking into the revelations and the omen all at one time. And it's just crazy because the 144,000, I've been hearing about this for a while. I've had, you know, people that I know tell, told me about these things. And, you know, I finally sat down and read it and boy, it's a jaw dropper. Because the 144,000 are basically prophets or uh basically prophets to sit up here and speak god's word and these people will not be coming from a religious uh like a certain religious um um, um wh whoever you choose your religion to be i forgot what word i'm looking for but you know um they're going to be multiracial we they uh we all don't know each other but yet we'll all be speaking the same words. Maybe in different ways, but we're all being awakened one by one. I mean, listening to my dad's song, Seven, is basically talking about it. The Redemption song by Bob Marley, which I had mentioned to y'all earlier this week, well, last week, is basically about the same thing because it's just like prophets being killed off left and right. Like they've been sacrificed and they've been sent up. Like they will have the mark of God, just like... You know, the people are walking around here having the mark of the beast. Basically, they're saying we're in the second coming to where the weather and the parting of the Red Sea basically, you know, will be killing off people like the weathers. You won't even be able to tell seasons apart. Basically, it's just like reading the book of Revelations that they're outing different people from different religions. Like they were talking about the the Muslims, they were talking about the Jews, they were talking about the Catholics, like they're really on the Catholics, like, and disclaimer y'all, I'm a, I'm a spiritual person, I'm not religious, now these are things that I read up on, so I don't know, want nobody coming at me crazy, because you're saying, oh you're wrong, you're wrong, this is something I read, this is not something that I'm saying from my opinion, these are things that I've read, that they're talking about Catholics like we're I don't even really watch the news but yet I've been hearing about all these the Catholic priests being outed for like sexual misconduct and um, pedophilia whatever you want to call it and it, it's just they're being shamed they're putting being put out for show for display basically being set for example like these celebrities that are you know coming out in so-called suicides basically they're being used as examples like whoever's going up to heaven is going to get the mark of the 
mark of God and the people that are walking around that he has picked the 44,000 and people won't truly know until it's happening because right now they they're walking amongst the earth during the the tribute the great tribulation so they're speaking God's word they don't want the people to go to church they they want you to be able to speak it and know it know God in you that you have to be walking around shooting out positivity helping people that are awakening so we're all going through the same thing at the same time it's like we're feeling God in the devil's wrath right now so whoever's on God's side is definitely feeling the devil's side of the wrath that's the reason why everybody's going through the things that they're going through right now especially the Hayokas if you're going through all these things you're a member of the 44,000 preaching God's word knowing that it, it it can't come from a famous person it can't come um, from any kind of religious you know background it has to be somebody that's spiritual that God has turned that light switch on so just dealing with all this stuff and reading about it is just so bone chilling that they're talking about the parting of the Red Sea that there's the mark of the beast walking around where the, the devil is having minions doing his bids basically towards everybody that's why all of us is going through all this hell trying to get to the promised land speaking out positivity showing love to people just doing everything that you need to do you're going to be feeling the devil's wrath and if you're on the devil's wrath you're going to be feeling everything god going to throw at you so if you're being wrong or people are being wrong around you or wrong towards you allow them to keep being that way if they want to be vile allow them to keep doing that but if you're speaking truth can you continue to speak your truth if you're showing love you continue to show that love but we are all being activated one by one by one and you can see it just looking at the world today all these shootings all these non just just nonsense death people are being basically set for example God is taking all the people out that he has chosen and leaving the remaining here that he is do, have doing his work so people please prepare yourself it is coming the second coming is coming so you have to prepare to see what side you're going to be on me reading this stuff i'm talking about chills and went up in my back like where i thought i was gonna have to get a drink early this morning and you can't even be drinking either so it's, it's just like you have to pay attention open your eyes when you are going through something stand strong decide that you're going to be on that positive side of love and light because if you're not i i don't even know want to know what the other side is because that devil like my dad said you know you know through the thief in the night you know god comes and stuff like that and the devil's gonna come dressed as light so you have to make sure you understand that you know there will be a sheep a wolf dressed up, dressed up in sheep's clothing so you have to really pay attention and open your eyes and your hearts to things that know even that something looks so good and might not always be good so please pay attention to the things that are going on around you it's just so many things it's just like so many prophecies just happening left and right happening left and right, left and right because all these things that I'm reading up on a lot of this stuff has already happened so please open your hearts, open your minds, and know that there is something coming and you need to prepare yourself. So if you need to, go ahead and read up on that 144,000. It's a very good read because you have to really educate yourself on whatever's coming. If it's the rapture, is it, if it's the remaining or whatever they want to call it, please prepare yourself for whatever is coming. So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. Sorry it's so short, but there was so much stuff that, that I covered that I really don't want to put in my video because I don't want to offend anybody, especially there's a lot of people that probably watch my videos that are, you know, religious or whatever. But they also said that whatever you're going to speak, especially if you're speaking positivity, they will throw the devil in your face. And that's basically one of the devils that is sort of here mentioning that. 
So keep your eyes open to the things that are happening around you. And, you know, do as much studying as you need to on the 4400. So um, I hope I didn't offend anybody, but, you know, you can go check out for yourself because it, 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 it talks a lot about religious stuff that is just too much stuff of this is already happened so you know i hope you were able to get something out of this video spirit guys told me i had to make sure this comes out today because you know usually i pull out two videos a day so this will be your third one for today um stay prayed up y'all y'all better get ready to prepare yourself because whatever's coming is coming so like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload in my next video please drop me a line i love the chance to get to hear from you and give me a thumbs up like and even share and i'll see you on my next video send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are loved and blessed and truly highly favored and know there's always somebody out there praying for your better better days so send out as much love and light as possible for the second time because we're going to truly need it and i will see you on my next video peace and be wild